What's up folks, how you doing? Thought I'd do a little review of this building block set that I got. It's from a company called Nifeles, Nifeles. I, I have no idea how to pronounce it, but I put it I put it together over the last few days and thought I'd show it off with a couple other things that I, that I have from this company that uh, turned out pretty good. There's a couple of issues. Um, one thing is these little flower pots here. I had to put a couple on the on the deck here because they're supposed to go there, but unfortunately, they don't they don't stay on there very well. A um, couple of times, the piece counts are a little. I think I think they inflate the piece count because these arms are two piece arms, and you got to put them together. You have to put the hands in them and all that stuff i mean it's a little that's a little weird but overall it's not bad had a couple of uh deformed pieces here but it was a couple of cabinet doors in the kitchen in there i don't feel like pulling that all apart and everything but it's way back in the back in the kitchen on the first floor but they're not that important but it comes with five mini figs i think this set probably cost me about a hundred bucks when I bought it, I either bought it in 2020 or 2021. I can't remember. I can't find it on the on uh, Amazon anymore, so it's probably been retired. But I have another set <clears throat> that I did get recently, and it's up here. And this one cost me sixty dollars, and it's a nice little pirate ship. It did have a deformed block in it. it had one one little deformed block in it that was no big deal i could still use it it just didn't work properly but overall it's a pretty good set and for 60 dollars, you can't go wrong with that because it's about the same size as the uh as this set that i have over here and this is an official lego set i think i paid like 300 dollars for that now obviously there's a lot more going on there and I've got light bricks and all that stuff which I really like but um, they complement each other pretty well but you know for $60 it's it's that's a pretty good deal let me shut this off here shut this off you can see the, those lights really make this thing pop but that's one thing that uh, I kind of wish they had with some light setting and light breaks for these other sets, but that's the only one that I've got lights on anyway. But I have another set up here. Oh. They come in these big, heavy boxes. This thing's like 4,000 pieces. And so I haven't put this one together yet, but, uh, you know, like I said, I think these cost me about $100, maybe $130, something like that. But that was a couple of years ago. Um, the pirate ship, like I said, was $60. Damn, this thing's heavy. I'll put it back up here in a minute. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to show off. You know, if, if you're a fan of, of uh, Lego, but you don't necessarily have the money for... Uh, lego all the time this is a good alternative because you know overall the building experience is pretty well um the the uh instructions are a little weird they'll have you bouncing back and forth from you know one side to the other while you're building stuff you know and, and they'll have you putting stuff on the deck down here you know and then put one or two pieces on on the roof you know these roof pieces are all just these one little slats if i can get this thing off you know there's, there's you know, these single little slats here so you know that's that's how that works but either way they'll they'll have you do they'll, they'll be back and forth all the time you know, over and over back and forth so it kind of makes it a little weird and there's a lot of one you know single pieces where i think you could have used larger pieces um, but overall, it's not bad. The minifigures are kind of cool. They're not as cool as Lego minifigures, but, you know, 
they've got these articulated arms that um, you know the legs and the arms are, are more articulated than a Lego figure the legs will open up a little bit more because they're on ball joints instead of uh, instead of uh, you know locked you know locked swivels but you know you can even bend them backwards if you want to so anyway yeah the, the, the minifigures are kind of cool they're you know they're not the best but they're not the worst either you know but the quality on this is pretty good and and the best thing about this is it's not a knockoff it's not a it's not a, it's not something stolen from lego it's most likely what it was as a as a mock that was up, uploaded to um brick link or something like that i'm not really sure where, where that'd be uploaded to but it's probably a mock that somebody created and these people copied the mock put it up for sale there may be some ethical issues with that i don't know either way it's a really cool set <laughs> I had fun with it and was frustrated as hell by it in some in some areas but you know it that's the way Lego is you know so this is no different um, one thing I could say is that I wish they had I wish they had uh, instructions online so you could go download a PDF and, and actually have the instructions from a PDF so that's what I do with Lego all the time is I'll, I'll download the instructions on a PDF and then uh, and then, you know, do it on, you know, have it on my computer screen and just build it that way instead of trying to monkey with a book, which really sucks. But, you know, eh, that's a minor inconvenience. But anyway, I just thought I'd show that off. See what you thought. And if you're on the fence about this company, I would say it's a, if, if Lego is the gold standard, 10 out of 10, I would say these people are like eight, eight and a half out of ten. There's some things that I, I wish would, you know, they did better, but overall, you know, it's it's good. It's really good, and I would definitely buy more of their sets, and I will buy more of their sets. I'll definitely buy more Lego sets, but you know, some things, like I said, you know, Lego's expensive, man. Lego's really expensive, so sometimes you just can't afford to buy the Lego stuff, and sometimes. You know these these mock sets are a lot nicer well, not nicer they just you know they're just different you know like that pirate ship up there is different i don't think lego has anything like that um i mean it's got cloth sails and everything and it's it's a lot of fun you know i mean it's a good set so that's thought i you know i would definitely buy from these people again no doubt you know, there's a couple of fit and finish, you know, issues and whatnot, but if you buy some Lego glue, you know, this stuff right here, buy you some of that. Those little, those little small things will be a lot easier to work with. I didn't do that well. I tried to do that with the flower pots, but I got impatient, and, you know, just said to hell with it. But, you know, overall, I didn't have any issues with this, with this ship as far as, like, you know, fit goes and things falling off or anything like that. So, you know, like I said... And I just got that one. I got one of that one Saturday or Sunday, something like that. Put it together in a few hours. And it looks really good. I like it. So, you know, don't be shy of, these, of this company. Other companies don't know, but don't be shy of this company. And, uh, you know, don't come crying to me if you get a bad set because you can get a bad set from any company, even Lego. You know, I when I built this most likely cantina, I had to send away for... Uh, see I think there's a gap there you can see that should have had a should have had a, a, a brick there that doesn't there's a piece in there somewhere that's a yellow brick that I had to replace with it because it didn't have it so you know you can get bad sets you can get and I, and I didn't get them replaced Lego will do that but you know while I was building it it pissed me off because I had to go dig it in my parts bin to find you know uh, an alternative so anyway like I said just don't be shy of this company and uh i'll i'll leave it at that let me know how you feel in the comments and like and subscribe later